You're here about that guy, huh? Well, good luck getting anything out of him. He's been dead a while. He came up here to negotiate with my Raider associates. They strung him up and left him to die after... Convincing him to spill the beans about what he was up to. Before you ask, I don't know. I wasn't there. I ain't put him there. That was the previous tenants. They were real slobs. You know, I keep meaning to find a maid service, but who has the time, right? Who knows what goes through their dopey responder brains? Can you imagine going through life 100% chem free? <sighs> anyway, you're probably looking for that scorch detector uplink thingamajiggy was trying to install when they caught him. Seems real handy. <laughs> I know where it is, but I'm not ready to talk. But maybe if you help me out, I'll trust you enough. <sighs> well, this is a little awkward. Not what either one of us expected, eh? Anyway, to prove I'm not a monster, I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward. an army thing going for you. Almost. I almost backstabbed you, but clearly I didn't or you'd be dead. Point is, you're alive and stronger for it because of me. Did I even get a thank you for that? No. My kind of people, we were hardcore. The originals. Not these wannabes and losers who refuse to join up with me. We split into five gangs. Cutthroats, trappers, diehards, blackwater bandits, and the gourmands. Each one was special in their own way. Except for the diehards. They were a bunch of boring losers. So, the old bands of raiders each had their own, like, pet projects or whatever. You know, to be all special. If I'm ever going to rebuild a raider army, I need to figure out which of these crazy tactics actually work. We both win. I get answers and you get a new toolbox full of scary things you can use to terrify your enemies and gross out your friends. Are you seriously calling Meg's bunch of losers an army? <laughs> Please. Those blood eagles, maybe, but they're not my type. We'll start with my personal favorite, Karma. No, not that new age bullshit. I'm talking about a chem that hits hard but leaves you reeling. My cutthroat friends figured out a way to weaponize it. I'm gonna lend you my old syringer and you're gonna modify it to shoot Karma darts. <laughs> Just bring it back or I'll find you and kill ya. <laughs> Seriously. Not joking. I really will. If you can't find a Yao Guai, find something else that's tough so you can see the karma in action. 
I know, I know. It sounds crazy to make a beast like that tougher and nastier. But once karma wears off, that'll be as weak as a newborn oh, kid. Oh, right there. That's it. Big shit off. you in on a little secret. My old raider pals left a cache of treasure behind when they all checked out. Problem is, it's locked away and I can't get in there. Double problem. No one trusted each other enough to give anyone complete access to the treasure. No way. That legend predates all the bombs, the yelling, the ferals, all of that. This treasure belonged to the gangs. All of them. I don't actually know what's in it, because i never seen it. But it's gotta be good, right? Raider loot up the wazoo! Oh, wow! The Raider robot is lying and being dishonest. You should just write that up and pick it fences and get it published. Listen. Didn't I deliver last time with karma, exploding bait, and all of that? So let's just do it again. You just have to do a few teensy tiny, well, a lot of things really. Then we'll have ourselves access to all that wonderful treasure. I'll probably even give you a fair share of the loot. Promise. So they split up the key. See, each gang's leader had a holotape with their own personal password on it. Find them all so I can batch them together and make the master key. It's more technical than that, but you wouldn't understand. Check out Blackwater Mine first. That's the last place we heard from Freddie Lang, the leader of the Blackwater Bandits. Pretty sure she had a terminal there. Might be worth a look-see. I'll be straight with you. I think we're past the point where I just want to use you to further my own goals. I may be starting to like you. 
Now, I don't want you thinking your pal Rose is going soft on you, so let me just say this. If you ever get it in your head to screw me over, I will gut you with this here saw and string your entrails up like Christmas tinsel. Nothing personal. So, I, uh, I found this old holotape to record onto. Look, I know this is stupid. Can't hear me. Not anymore. I don't know. Maybe this is more for me. I just oh, miss you, Lucy. More than you could ever imagine. Rose here. Not that I'm a creep, but I was watching you through the viewfinder again and saw you enter the mine. Can you still hear me? Ah, whatever. It's not like you can radio back. Anywho, if I recall, we completely lost track of the Blackwater Bandits back in 96. <sighs> Freddy wasn't looking too good last time we saw her alive. Not her usual bright and spirited self. Real sick. Her hair looked awful. Something happened in that mine hideout of theirs. Not sure what, but if you can figure it out, I bet you'd be able to track down that key fragment. I'll catch up with you when I see you crawl out of that cave. Got a bit of situation here I want to report. I'm gonna send this here hollow tape with a runner to you as soon as I can. Me and the other trappers set up this camp here near Devil's Backbone, just like we all agreed on. It's been working out for us. Plenty of game to catch, plenty of unlucky saps wandering in from the east still. But, uh, you know how we said we stay out of Huntersville and don't drink the water near there? I thought it was just some sort of quarantine zone full of sick people, so we made sure not to poke at it. We started hearing some noises coming from the town a bit back, so I done reckon we'd better send someone to check it out. Well, he come back talking about some big old green unstuck around, trying to rip up the fence around town and busting up stuff real good. First I heard, so I get him to show me, and I don't believe my eyes. These Big green fellas were in there, look like, ransacking the town. Next thing you know, them Brotherhood of Steel folks are marching on it and clashing with the other guys, and they ain't doing too well against them. As soon as it looked like the armored goons were losing the fight, we hauled ass back here, and that's where we're at. Fighting's still going on, and we'll keep an eye on the situation, but if things go belly up, Oh, shit! It's those green bastards, and they got guns! <sighs> this is Margie McClintock of the Die Hards. <laughs> what a joke. We deluded ourselves into thinking our victims would fear a name like that. But now, everyone out there is as desperate as we are. Every confrontation could mean life or death. People take their chances. They fight back. So we have to kill. We have to murder innocent people. Well, not me. I don't care what this world has come to. It's not taking me down with it. The whole idea of the Raiders is sick. It's inhuman. I'm destroying that stupid key fragment. Those bastards don't deserve their treasures. Unless they return to their senses and quit this whole murderous power game they're playing. If that ever happens, Vincent knows what to do. Maybe he'll be more successful than I was. As for me, I'm leaving. I'll find some chems and, and I'll go out that way. Peaceful. Without pain. I'm 
done. I'll see you soon, Harlan, my love. It's been too long. track of you out there. I was, uh, busy doing some stuff. And by stuff, finding Ken's. You know, I almost feel bad for old Margie. Smart as a whip, but never did like to get her hands dirty and couldn't hack it when push came to shove. Anyway, did you find her key? Let's pretend you did and move on. I don't have all day to watch you putter about. Hey, speaking of putters... I'm not sure what you'll find at Bolton Greens, but I am sure that whatever happened to the Gourmands, it was as grisly and inhuman as they were. Good luck! Oh, you'll forgive me for not watching this time. Edie and I have been feeling a little extra hungry of late, and the others are starting to ask questions. Morris, how can you be hungry when you're still so fat? <laughs> you know what I say to that. I'm hungry because I'm the boss here. It takes a lot of effort to wrangle these useless idiots so we don't all starve. And that works up an appetite. Honestly, it's been several days since we've come across any more food. The usual unsuspecting travelers have been... Harder to come by. I can only assume the damn cutthroats have been scaring them all away, or not sharing their finds with us. Well, the others won't like it, but we're gonna have to go to Plan B. Edie's on board with me. And I've been thinking about Gregory. He's got a lot of meat on him, and he's been rather useless lately. Hell, no one will miss him. And maybe his wife, and his little girl, perhaps. But Vanessa will know what's good for her, and she's too much of a good fighter to eat just yet. And the kid, well, well I'm not a monster. Besides, kids are too scrawny. When Dubois dropped me off at Bolton Greens, I was horrified. Fourth in line for the Westbrook fortune, and Momsy and Papa had the nerve to leave me at a glorified daycare center while they travel the world ridiculous. To make matters worse, I'm forced to hobnob with the other children, some of whom are mere millionaires. Ugh! The thought makes my skin crawl. The only saving grace of this prison is that they employ a sommelier in the dining room. Well, it's time to go fox hunting again. Oh, dread. I appear to have scuffed my ostrich job her boots. I suppose I'll have to use the calfskin ones instead.
whatever you are. <laughs> also, I'm talking to a corpse. I assume the gourmands just ate each other to death. I'll never ask what actually happened, though. The thought of eating another human grosses me out. <laughs> Ugh. Makes me glad robots were never on their menu. So, there's one more key fragment. This one belonged to the cutthroats. David, the guy who led us, is alive. Or something like it. I saw him roaming around out there, near his favorite barbecue shack. <laughs> Turned into one of those scorched things. It breaks my heart to see him like that. He could be a real jackass, but he doesn't deserve that fate. Now I'd bet anything he's still got his key fragment on him. So really, he'd be doing everyone involved a huge favor by putting him out of our collective misery. <sighs> and taking the key. Kiss him goodbye for me? Uh, actually, don't. He's probably all malformed and disgusting now. Yeah, yuck. Watched you kill David through the viewfinder. <sighs> so that's a thing that happened. Hey, I'm hoping that by now you've got everything we need. Hurry back so we can bust that cache wide open and see what's inside. No one's been inside since before they made me, so I've been dying to see all the great crap they've kept hidden for all these years. Don't keep me waiting. fragments for me. I'll take those for safekeeping. There's just one more little thing. David, he had a mistress named Rosalind. She wound up doing something stupid out of love for the man. Tried to lead a raid on Charleston on Christmas Eve so she could bring him back something nice. Got herself killed in the process. Sheesh, manners. And, well, maybe. I mean, Rosalind's death was kind of a big deal around here. And we never were able to recover the body. I would have gone to do this myself, but, well, it's personal. Now, in order to create the cash master key from those passwords you got, I need the holotape program she had with her when she died. You might have to look through the town's records to find out where they buried her body. I'd start with the Capitol building. Meet me at the cache in the basement of the ski lodge when you've got that hollow tape. If it isn't already painfully obvious, Charleston got flooded in a bad way. <laughs> when David learned they killed Rosalind, he took the many nicks we'd stolen from the Brotherhood of Steel and rigged them to blow up the dam. Damn near wiped the entire city off the map. Last I checked, the Capitol building is still standing. If any place was gonna have <sighs> records of any of this, it'd be there. Here's hoping you don't have to dig up half the town to find what you're looking for.
program to decrypt the key fragments? I'm a freaking robot. I just wanted you out of the way so I could get first dibs at the loot. At least I'm honest about it. Right. Thing is, I couldn't go through with it. Either you've made me a better person, or there's some old remnant of Miss Nanny firing up and making me care about people. It's all worthless pre-war junk anyway. You can have as much of it as you want. There might be some good loot, but that bucket of bolts bellhop down there won't cop it up without a claim ticket. Good luck finding one of those. I couldn't even shake it out of them. And believe me, I tried. It's all yours if you can figure something out. All right, so there you go. That's it. <laughs> Don't get all teary-eyed. I'm sure we'll do business together again soon. Until then, toodles. Interrogation of one Jane Doe. Sole captive raider in custody after a deadly attack here at approximately 10.30 p.m. tonight, December 24th, 2082. Girl, you and yours got some nerve. On Christmas Eve, no less. <laughs> now I'll ask again. What is your name? Fuck you. That's F as in Frank. You as in... <gasps> if that's how we gotta do this, then that's how we do it. Now, cut the crap or he'll hit you again. Killed a whole mess of people out here, and you know, you're gonna answer for it. Mm, nah. David's gonna come for me, and when he gets here, he's gonna be mad. He'll kill every last one of you if he has to. So here's how it's gonna be. You're gonna let me walk right out of this cell. You'll send me off with a big bag of Christmas Take only my David. David will forget anything ever happened. David, huh? So we got David Thorpe's what? Girlfriend here? You know, he's the guy who killed two very brave and selfless responders who went up to your resort up there to offer help way back when. Well, gentlemen, I think I know how to finally draw our number one most wanted outlaw out of hiding. You wouldn't! You won't! He'll kill you! He'll kill you all! You, you just wait! He's coming for you! Keep her locked up. We'll worry about finding a way to send a message up there tomorrow. find that uplink thing you were looking for? Yeah, it got a little banged up when we shoved it through the storage system. You'll probably need to bring it to someone in the free states who can fix it. The <laughs> joke's on you. They're as dead as everyone else out there. What? <laughs> you know, I at least one or two of them defected you. to us when they got sick of living underground. They talked about this real smart gal named Abby. Tech smart, you know? I bet you can find something down in her bunker that'll help you fix that doodad. It's in the mire. I can point you in the right direction. Now, go on and scram. Maybe you'll actually be able to get rid of these scorched things. Then, bing, bang, boom, couple hundred years pass, you vault people have a couple of kids, they have a couple of kids, etc. Next I thing you know, we got more raiders and more people to prey on. Perfecto! Sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. But until then, I'll just be messing with the radio. <laughs> Don't you forget about me up here. I'm always around if you get bored. <laughs> Later, alligator.